see so I'll just hold this here I'm gonna push up a little bit oh it locks it right up see it's spinning free push up just a little bit and that synchronizer locks it right in there all right cool um this thing <clears throat> Oh, yep. Nice, 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 nice. Locks in there. Good. Let's turn this a little bit. Oh, it goes down. Nice. All right. Take it over to the stand here. Hopefully I'm putting this together right. I think I am. And I think with this thing fully assembled now, it should set in here right, which it hasn't done. Too high. All right, let me take those. Let me take those two out. Put her in there. There we go. <laughs> I think this may go up here. Yeah, I think this goes on at the very, I think this goes on at the very end. So, um, yeah, if I remember right. Uh, I think the next thing is, um, cleaning up this table. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm going to have to pull that seal out of the back of it. Because the instructions are wrong, wrong, wrong. Slide this over. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my trash bag over. Keep everything nice, look clean. I've been doing that this entire process. All right, so uh, you know, of course, we got a new synchronizer. I, I want to show you guys. This is pretty flimsy, and you know they pretty much from what I understand unless you have a fork assembly if you're going into it you're gonna have to put a new one of these in uh, it is what it is it's kind of a bummer these these wear out these break uh, this apparently this is notorious for breaking right here so yeah not cool not cool at all but see if we can get this thing on all right so I have to admit this part right here is kind of fun um, <laughs> I don't know why I, think, I don't know if it said I'm get we're getting that much closer I wish Harley was here I think it's just that we're getting that much closer to having it back together. Uh, oh man, it's going in. Shazam! I got to take it back out. You say why? You guys see me put any oil on these shoes? I don't know. Seems like it's cheap and cheap assurance. Oh, easy. Put the oil on, oil on now, and I'm um, not worried about it. 
Yeah, I could see the more and more I understand this um uh, this shifter right here, I totally can see how if some of these plastics start we were to start wearing um, apart. totally could see how things could get really really not good as far as shifting all right what do we got here it was already in Just like that. Yeah, these couple plastic parts in there, they actually fit up in the housing. Uh, I'm assuming, that I, I think I felt the transmission drop in there, or the gear. Okay, well, I just moved something around right there and things moved even more, so. I think that's a good sign. All right, so I got once again I got this puller put up here. I, I don't I don't know how you can do this. Oh jeez, I don't know how you could do this without this puller. Um, I just you probably could. Uh, my 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 dad's very resourceful. He probably would. There's probably a few of you as others. I don't think it's worth. Um, breaking a transmission case or I, I just don't see so you're pressing this on are you seeing what I'm doing right here all these are setting in that stand and I'm press, um, pressing it on I, I don't know how you're going to do this let me see how else would you do that wow um I mean, just just to come up with this bolt that's double threaded that's um, goes into that crankcase or the 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 main shaft. Like I said, I, I just don't. It's probably out there. It's probably not that hard. Yeah. All right, so I'm putting this guy on. No way. I'm already on. Oh my! I think I'm already on. And here, here's the thing. Oh, right here. Let's let's give it a little snug. There's that snap ring. Unbelievable. That snap ring. Not only is it. I mean, overall, with how much we got into this, it does the cost of the snap ring is not that big a deal but 45 minute drive each way and plus the town he's going into is uh, we normally don't go into just because how busy it is so it's 45 minutes and that's if he can even get in and out of there in that amount of time um, I'm really so that little error I'm gonna really have to go back and look at the instructions to see if it's if it's some error that I made uh, or, or why I I've, I don't get it I don't get how it was there okay snap ring I finally get to put that dumb snap ring in that I was wondering where it went I'm me particular I don't like extra parts uh, I just not a fan of having extra parts um at the end of a job okay so uh flip the case of course i'm putting the there's four caps i cleaned them up locked tighted them and eight new me eight <laughs> new meters or 
71 inch pounds or whatever, or get yourself a digital. Digital uh, wrench, have at it. So that will lock that in. Got word that Harley's back, heading back with the seal. This thing is drug on too long. No, we're just anxious. We're anxious. Um, I slipped this bearing on. Actually, uh, I'm. You may have not saw what I did because I did this off camera. Synchronizers. This uh, this synchronizer right here drops down in there. I guess this would be called a bat blocking plate, or what would this be called? Yeah, gear blocking ring. Um, that's in there. I dropped my bearing down in there, oiled everything up. Everything's looking excellent. Those are locked, so I think, and we've got to be getting close to silicone in that base. I'll see what's next. There's that rascal of a seal. Harley went up and picked it up. So, I'm assuming after, yeah, after we get this bolted together, we'll spin it around. Um, okay, so I got these two calves put together. Sorry. Thought, thought it was recording, it wasn't. I literally had, had the bottom one set up here, slid the top. Uh, case have down give it a couple taps with that boom it's together uh, I wasn't able to bolt any of them what's it say right here 28 um, 21 foot pounds or, or 28 newts all right so let's go 28 newts okay an extension on there. Well, I don't need I don't need an extension for all of them. Pretty happy. Um, I mean, I did a pretty small bead of a gasket maker, and I got it. I got it pretty much the squeeze out I wanted. Well, I didn't really see any Loctite on these bolts. I went and put it on it. That's weird. These big bolts. They definitely tightened down different than the other ones. The two big bolts going in there. I hate to say it. They almost feel like they're stripping, but I don't know if those things have to stretch. I don't know. I got two more. I got a couple that I can't get to. So I have to flip this thing out. Uh, yeah, my partner. Right. Which ones am I missing? Over here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The reason why I keep going around checking these again, because those dowels are tight, and you know they're—I think they're 
is slowly pulling them on. And plus, you know, aluminum bends. People don't, they don't realize that. that they look at this transmission, well, yeah, there's no way you can, but oh, yeah, you can. You, you can, you can, you can torque a boss over on a, I think I'm, I think I'm there now. Okay. Okay. I think I got it now. Um, I do need to put my seal in that I took out. Use my groovy tool. Uh, put some oil on it. I'm getting good at it. Yeah, you can really see the benefit of this installer now. Done. Okay, at least we're there. All right, so I, I tightened the bolt down in there and I'm falling apart at the end of this thing. Forgetting to turn stuff on. Either way, I got the seal in here. Standard race driver seal um, seal installer would work. Yeah, it'll be fine. But I'll hit it once more for good measure. Okay, I think that's about it. Um, all right, so one thing I gotta tell you is, underneath there is this bolt right here. Um, it holds the shaft on. It takes that, what size does that take? Oh wow. Yeah, hold on. 18. Okay. So it takes this 18 e torque. What I wanted to tell you is it, it you're supposed to tighten that to 74 foot pounds or 100 newtons. I didn't know how to do it. I don't know how to hold these and tighten that. So I went to my 3 8 impact. Hit it with that. Yeah, I, I just, I know what this thing is capable of, what the torque is and everything. It could have got up towards 90, I doubt it. I think I got close to what it should be, but. Um, let me see, I put the back on, that's on. The back is in. I don't know. Getting really close to just having a shifter in, and this thing is about done. All right, so put a B and M shifter on it. Uh, man, I wish the case had cleaned up. He may spray it. He probably will, knowing him. Um, I think there is a sensor somewhere that I oh right here. You're gonna put that sensor back in. Uh, yeah, and then I don't know. Let's see, we got a little breather right up here. Um, I don't know if I can bolt this down yet. That may have to be bolted in after it's lifted up into place. But I don't know. Got to get him back here. So this thing's ready to go in his Jeep. Finally, yes, yes, yes. Yep. Now. 
they do some people say to go ahead and add the fluid here some people I mean it's it's a lot easier to do it right here than uh, underneath the vehicle but I think he's all set up to add fluid um, from a, an area like that so I don't think I'm putting fluid in it right now I'll let him handle that and, uh, all right yes <laughs> all right so uh, we're wrapping up this transmission video glad it's done wouldn't hesitate for a moment to do it um, you know I was nervous going into it but about halfway through everything started yeah really I started figuring it out and now yeah I guys I really encourage you doing this for the fact that we know exactly what's going on in his transmission now I just I, I think that's cool there's no mystery as to what's going on in there what do you want to say about the uh, drain plug and filler uh, so a lot of guys were reading on the forums that they could torque it up to 75 foot pounds and that's gonna crack the case so don't do that all we're gonna say is do it 30 or under find your specifications of what it should be well don't say 30 or under let's say just figure it out yeah just we're not sure out. what it is all right and you're talking about the we think it's around 20 but not 75 no that's way too high. ruin your case and then yeah all right you were going to talk about uh the talking about the counter shaft bolt so um you know you saw me use an impact on it, three eighths milwaukee impact now i know that impacts around 100 foot pounds and this is where i was going with this thought on that um i know you lose uh foot pounds going through that extension it is what it is ever if you've ever tried to take anything off with a half inch impact with a couple half inch extensions on there i mean you lose a drastic amount of torque through the different connections um so i knew i was losing some torque there so i started at 100 i knew i lost some going through the extension and then the the how the, all the gears are moving a little bit so i'm gonna lose a little bit each time i hit it I don't know where I'm at. I got to be pretty close to that 75. And I used blue Loctite on it. I think I did. I don't know. Um, I put some Loctite on it. But either way, I think that's it. I think uh, I think it was a, su a success. I mean, he's running his transmission right now. We've already taken it to the trails a couple times. And yep. so this is after the fact. Um, and and actually i think that matters to you because that should give you confidence that um, going into your own rebuild that you know you're going to be able to get to this point and you should have success too all, all right. right close it out man so oh hey i want to i want to bring up one thing um make sure you're using the right fluid you have plastic parts uh on these um fork assembly and different oils affect plastic differently Make sure you're using the right uh, fluid for that transmission. Mm -hmm. I got thinking about that because some fluids will deteriorate plastic and, and others. So either way, keep that in mind. All right. Darren and Harley with WeTJ, and we're out. All right, we're out. See you.